Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the Non-Cooperators on Flash Sunday, where we are continuing with Last Stand. And here's our new survivor, Old Man River, right in the back. Or did we have him before? I don't remember, honestly. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's this, it's this one chick that we need to repopulate with. Or maybe it's this, this hot guy with the with the 357 revolver. Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck cares? Let's have some fun. Holy shit. Let me swap, swap out weapons. Let's swap out some heads. Jason, not Jason Ford, he's Michael Myers with longer hair. Come on, there we go. Oh, the Joker, holy shit! And there's Uncle Fester. And Black Dynamite. Dynamite! Dynamite! Who doesn't like Black Dynamite? Not the car I mean, I watch a little bit of the, of the cartoon, but I'm actually t talking more, uh, more talking about the actual uh, the movie. Uh, can we? What should we do? More? I, get a weapon. We need the weapon. We need the weapon. We need the chainsaw. Chainsaw! There we go. Thank you very much. Let's get rid of this and get this. So as soon as they start cu coming close, I'm gonna chop. I'm just gonna chop them up. And look, we got another survivor. And it's Markiplier! Well, Markiplier was the guy, uh, was the guy who, in Last Stand, can actually use a sniper rifle. So, I'm just gonna say that that guy in the background is Markiplier. Just for the fuck of it. Uh, it would be kind of cool if, um, Last Stand was actually an on uh, online, uh, uh, co-op game. So basically, it'd be like a whole, like a whole bunch of, uh, YouTubers all playing this and everything. And we'll just like fuck, just fuck these zombies up. Oh, we would be unstoppable, honestly. It would. I mean, well, then actually, then again, we could also fuck up. I like it's just, uh, no vacancy. Okay, so well, party's full. So let's just search for nothing but weapons. Nothing but weapons. Nothing but nothing. Nothing but weapons. Remember to write tomorrow's note. What's tomorrow's note? Not a clue. Oh, shit. We lost a survivor. People lost uh, in the search party, so but we did find a shot off. So, damn. Um, I'll show you what the, how the sawed off is like. It's kind of like the shotgun. It's faster reloading, but it's better for like. Oh, we lost Markiplier. God damn it. I oh, will find him again. Don't worry. Marky Boo. Marky Mark and, the, and, and his spooky bunch. And again, it's, it's actually all me because this is my funky bunch. My non-funky bunch. I don't know what you what you would want to call it here. That's that's the shotgun. Uh, far away, far, far range, far range. One, two. Yeah, see, this is what happens when I try to show you the shotgun. It's not doing anything right now. On these fuckers. There we go. Come on, guys. It's daytime. It, what does that even mean? Like, why do the zombies only come out during nighttime? It's like as soon as the daytime hits, they're like, "Oh shit, the sun! Quickly, go back inside before we get sunburn." That's just my that's just my theory. I don't know. Um, thirty percent. I think we just need one, honestly, and then just be like ninety-seven percent. So we're pretty good on that. Um, search for weapons and let's get that survivor back. Let's see what we get. Nothing. God damn it! We found the survivor, but we lost. But we lost survivor, so we got nothing. God damn it! Bullshit. We didn't even use the chainsaw, did we? No. I'm pretty sure we'll ha we're gonna have to use uh, the chainsaw uh, around now. Yeah, so nothing happened. We lost survivor and gained survivor, and it's basically the same fucking person. So basically, he just went like, "Oh my god, where is he? I'm right here. I just went to the bathroom." Fuck your couch! Fuck your couch! It goes in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. My chainsaw dick! Get for the D! You guys seen Gears of War? Yeah. Come on. There we go. We're doing better. By the way, if, uh, if you guys are curious on what uh, night we're up to, we're up to night... Well, now it's up to, it was night 12, now we're up to day 13. 
So, yay. Okay. Uh, let's sustain some damage. Yeah, we could just do one percent. You know what? I want. I, I, I want the weapons. We can search for one survivor. Okay, we've got the hunting rifle. So that's that's the sniper rifle. It is. You know what? I'm gonna do the Markiplier way. Let's do the Markiplier way. Mark Mark. Uh, the Markiplier way. Sniper rifle and chainsaw. I'm gonna see how how it is. The problem with the sniper rifle is a one. Oh, then there's Markiplier again with the sniper rifle. It's one shot, but with this one shot. It, it's a full metal jacket. It's an FMJ. It's a full metal jacket. It can penetrate through, and there's a SWAT officer right there. The problem about SWAT officers is that they're fully armored. But this is the Markiplier way. They, they, get, they get close to chainsaws. They're far enough, he snipes them. The best thing about- the, the, the good thing about the sniper rifle is, like, you get a- Uh, sometimes it has the ability to, to penetrate right through. Come on. There we go. Because the bullet, the hunting rifle, they're FMJs, full metal jackets. Meaning, if you don't know what a full metal jacket means, it's fully metal. It's just a pointed tip. The, the, the bullet's a pointed tip and everything. It's just like, just like this. Not hollow or anything, it's all metal. So when it shoots and makes contact, it doesn't explode or anything. It's, it, keeps, it's, it keeps its integrity. Mo mostly it keeps an inte its integrity. Goes through the target and comes out and still keeps its velocity, go, it's still going through, and hitting another target right behind it. You ever played Sniper Elite? Same concept. With a hollow point, though, the bullet is more like, uh, like this. Co uh, w like this. I can't describe it. The bullet's like this with an opening inside. So, it's got like that, that it's got like this opening. So, when it shoots, it, it does they say it, it explodes. It doesn't actually explode. It expands. It just, it it mushrooms. It just claws outward, and it makes more damage to the uh, to the victim or or tar the target, the target, the target. Jesus, I don't want to seem like a goddamn fucking psychopath over here. So yay, we got full survivors. No vacancy. Yeah, so no vacancy. Let's see if they will uh Okay, good. They survived. And oh, we got an Uzi. Uzi nine millimeter. Let's see how the Uzi is like. Here, right, you know what? I'm gonna... Let me keep this one, because I was actually doing pretty good with it, and I'll use the Uzi. I, I'm not too sure what's the significance about the Uzi. I think it's just because it's just a handheld gun. The range is not that good. But it has a lot of ammunition. So it's more of a close quarters with a lot of ammunition. I think that's about it. Blonde Michael, Mike, blonde Michael Myers. And the thing about the SWAT officers, they get, they're difficult because you can only get them in the head or in the kneecap. Now, it gets difficult, honestly, because then you're going to start facing army guys with a fit where they have helmets. So, you won't be able to get, it's very difficult to get headshots on them. You have to, like, get, like, a pinpoint eye shot on them. It's very, very difficult. So, the best way of taking out an army dude is by... The army zombies is by blowing out their kneecaps, apparently. So, yay. So, the Uzi's okay. We just, I just wanted to show you what, how, how it was like, and then there you go. Alright, so 11 hours of searching. Call, call mom if I live. Really? Yeah, they're definitely very British. Oh, okay, we got the M4A1. So, I just we, just, we all just, just abbreviate it as an M4. Um... Let me see. How good is this gun? I forget how good it is. I think it's good for long range. So we'll keep that. We'll keep. We'll have that one for long range, and that one for short range. Come on. The load time's a little bit slow. In my opinion. It does seem stronger though, which is good. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm not, co I'm, I'm not commenting uh, too much because, uh, com commentating too much because I'm uh, very focused into this. Alright, so the M4 is pretty good, but maybe it's just me because I don't know. I feel like I'm doing short controlled bursts. Or maybe, hang on, that might be a psychological thing for me. I don't know. Come on, there we go. There we go. Lovely headshots. Yeah, there we go. I don't even. They, they, they definitely touched us, though. I was gonna say. I was about to say they didn't even touch us. Yes, they did. They did touch us a lot. 
Da -di -da -di -di -di. So yeah, I don't know what it is. Broken walls plus zombies equals death. Yeah, apparently. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is. I think it's like a, it's a mental thing where like I feel like I have to be very uh, you know bang 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 short control bursts with the uh, with the rifle and every, with, with the M4 rifle. Like with this gun, it's just like you know or this one, but this one ba boom ba boom ba boom. With the AK, I don't know. I feel like the a in my opinion in real in real life, I feel like the AK is not a really good rifle because it's more of like a spray and pray. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a spray gun. It's not an accurate gun. It's a spray gun, in my opinion. In, re in reality, that's just, that's just me. The only time I remember the AK actually being really, really, really good is in Saints Row. Hang on. The first Saints Row game. Getting a little bit too close to comfort. Kathy Bates over there. At this point, I think we're just chopping them all up. Jesus! This doesn't run out of ammo or gasoline, whatever the fuck it is. This shouldn't. Okay, we're good. Myers. Uh, M&M. &M. Sure, why not? The AK-47 in Saints Row... Um, you know what that gun was actually really good for? If you're good with A-tapping. And that was actually really good. Online, online. If you're good with A-tapping. And A-tapping, what that really is, what that is, is if you're just shooting, going bang, 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 bang. You're very controlled with it. Oh, speaking of the AK. See? Yeah. Sp with the AK and everything, it's just short control, short control burst. Going bang, 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 bang. So I was getting headshots and everything, like crazy, um, with the, with the AK in, in, in the Saints Row multiplayer. So... Yeah, I'll, t I'll, I'll explain more of the story next time on the non-cooperators where we're going to hopefully continue with this. Uh, I think we're on night 17, and there's 20 nights, so we got three more nights. So we're going to finish that ne uh, next uh, for next episode next time on the non-cooperators on Flash Sunday. See you guys next week, and I'll explain the story of the Saints Row next week. Where did you come from,